In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut out this transparent wine glass using nothing but layer mask, blend modes, and a couple manual techniques. Here I have my wine glass and my background. First thing you want to do, right click, convert it to a smart object. That way we could work non-destructive. Go to the top menu, click on select, subject. Let's go down here to the right, select the mask, and we're going to make three copies. So I'm going to do control J, one, two, three, and let's rename this liquid, rename this highlights, this one shadows, and this one will be the casting shadows. Now let's disable all this, except for the shadows. We're going to work with this layer going up. So for the shadow, all you have to do is change the blending mode to multiply. Let's do control L to bring up the levels and just go ahead and brighten the highlights. Kind of like that. Click OK. Let's enable the highlights. Change the blending mode to screen. This one we do the opposite. Control L, increase the shadow like that. Just click OK. Now for the liquid, let's enable that. Select the mask. Select B for brush. And we want to make sure this is black. A cool trick to move faster, if you hit D on your keyboard, it will reset this to black and white. And if you hit X, it will toggle between the two. So just make sure that's black. Make sure the mask is selected. We're going to zoom in. And we're just going to brush away the parts that's not liquid. Let's go down here to the casting shadow. Let's enable that. Select the mask. Let's do Control I to invert it. Let's change the blending mode to multiply. And we'll do the same thing. Do Control L to bring up the levels. Increase the highlights just a little bit. Kind of like that. Click OK. Select B for brush. Again, hit D for default. Make sure that's black. Hardness all the way down. Size maybe. A little bit bigger than that. Make sure the mask is selected. And we're gonna brush this out. So we only want to keep the shadow right there and on the bottom of the glass. Now let's go to our background. Let's make a copy. I'm gonna do Control J. Bring this above all the layers. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you want to blur it as much as possible. So let's do about 140. Let's click OK. And let's change the blending mode to soft light. Hold Control. Select one of our masks right here. So either this one or this one. Select the top layer. Select the mask. That was only affecting the glass. And let's go ahead and select the layer right here and not the mask. Let's do Control L. And we'll bring up the midtones just a little bit. Let's say about right there. Click OK. So this is the highlights before, but with this, you can see more of the yellow orange tint and the highlights also in the shadow. So this is the before, after. 